I'm Craig Ferris, the Law Society President for 2020. The situation regarding the outbreak and prevention of COVID-19 has been evolving rapidly. Developments over the past two weeks have created significant challenges for lawyers who remain committed to meeting their legal and ethical obligations, while also ensuring that they, their staff, and their clients remain safe. The Law Society understands these challenges, and we're working hard to help address them. Since the Provincial Health Officer declared a public health emergency, the Law Society initiated a review of the rules, code, and our regulatory requirements to find creative solutions that are within our authority. We've also been reaching out to the courts, government, and government agencies, including the LTSA, to work on solutions that require their collaboration. On March 20th, the courts and the Law Society announced a process for virtual commissioning of affidavits in urgent civil and family cases. On March 22nd, we implemented changes to swearing declarations and oaths for our own application processes, and we extended the deadline for filing trust reports. We also consulted with the government, and we're pleased that the government has decided to suspend statutory limitation periods during this crisis. We've also reached out to the LTSA about adopting measures for executing land title documents that are similar to the processes that the court has outlined. You may be facing other challenges that require our attention. Practice advisors within the Law Society remain available to take your emails and calls. I encourage you to check our website and the dedicated section for COVID-19 information that can be accessed through the homepage. It's updated frequently, so please check back regularly. If you have other questions that we've not already answered on the webpage, I invite you to email communications at lsbc.org. We're committed to getting through this together. Please stay safe, protect yourself and everyone around you, stay home as much as possible, and follow the Provincial Health Officer's directions. Thank you.